We'll hear argument this morning in Case 12-144, Hollingsworth v. Perry. Society is saying, yes, it's time. It's time you do this. These people are without any legal protections. So I'm feeling hopeful. We may not get everything we want, but it, it will come. I'm sure it will come. In reading the briefs, it seems as though your principal argument is that same-sex and opposite-sex cu couples are not similarly situated because opposite-sex couples can procreate, same-sex couples cannot, and the state's principal interest in marriage is in regulating procreation. Is that basically correct? Uh, Your, Your Honor, that's, that's the essential thrust of our, our position. I'm a transgender man. My partner was the best source of unconditional love that I have ever found. She got sick. I was unable to put her on my health insurance. As a result, she could not get the care that she needed for her treatable condition. I, to this day, believe that my partner would be alive today had we had that. Your Honor, we, we, we go further in, in the sense that it is reasonable to be very concerned that redefining marriage to, as, as a genderless institution could well lead over time to harms to that institution and to the interests that society has always, has, 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 has always used that institution to address. Tonight we pray that that shelter of peace may be spread over every couple over Edie Windsor as she remembers her life with her partner Thea and fights for the rights that we all deserve on our behalf. So we'll close this evening, this Holy Week, this night of Passover, this night in which we say, why is tonight different from all other nights? Because tonight we remember the day that we went out in liberation.